Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back. This is going to be a brand new series on the channel. This is Decimation. It's currently still in alpha, and I'm really looking forward to this. I've been keeping an eye on this mod pack for such a long time because Scotty has been doing a fantastic job on it and giving awesome updates to me about it, and I'm really looking forward to it. I also have a YouTuber rank on here, but no kit yet. Eventually, those will be on the way. But today, we're just going to go and be a survivor, and we're going to go and see how far we can make it out here in this zombie apocalypse world. If you guys want to see more Decimation on the channel, make sure you go ahead and let me know down below in the comment sections and don't forget to hit that like button i'm finally back from vacation as well so with that being said i am going to try my hardest to bring out more daily videos for all of you guys uh, i have some cool plans i want to start doing some role plays so i'd love to get some role play ideas down below in the comment sections that would be absolutely fantastic any ideas you may have would be great for me to go out and try to do some different style role plays i definitely want to do a zombie apocalypse one but i would also like to try something different as well just for the fun of it so uh oh geez i think i think i know where this is going i've seen a few few uh hints towards what this is all about here this pretty much once you cross this red line you are open to getting destroyed by anyone so that guy ran off and we're gonna go ahead and try our best to get the heck out of here as you guys can see this is an absolutely awesome mod pack you got 3d models all over the place you got tanks you got everything um and right now i have no armor no nothing i'm getting shot at oh geez all right can we make it around the corner okay good all right, so we got to find a rag, and that means maybe this tank will have something here. All right, we got some clothing. All right, let's grab this real quick. I feel like we're being uh, hunted down right now. I just feel like we're being hunted down. All right, we still have three hearts. We're doing decent. Uh, that's what I meant. You can get attacked really quickly from here. All right, let's see anything in here. We got to get some. Oh, we got some ammo clips. I'll definitely take that. So far, so good. Uh, I think this is a backpack. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. All right, cool. So far, we're getting some decent gear. I could really use a rag, and I hope this guy is not from around this corner looking to find me because I know I'm wounded. Oh, snap. Does this have any ammo? No, it does not. Oh, but this looks so awesome. The weapons in here look fantastic. Got to be honest. Scotty, you did a fantastic job. The models and everything are really cool. And plus, this is still alpha. So there's still a long way to go, but it really is an awesome, uh, uh, just an awesome mod pack in general. I'm really getting the vibe of The Walking Dead, and I'm just really happy about it. By the way, who is excited for The Walking Dead to return in October? That's one thing I'm really looking forward for the return of. But man, I am still bleeding out, and I'd really love to go ahead and find some rags. Also, if you press G, you can get your skill levels and your and your statistics are all here as well. So you can be a bandit, you can be a hero. And back at spawn, there's also plenty of trade trading sites. Uh, what I mean by that is you can go ahead and buy food, weapons, whatever you have with bottle caps. And bottle caps, if you look at the top left, is the currency. Uh, and you go around killing zombies, or if you want to be a bandit, you go ahead and take out, you know, just like people that are surviving. And I think that's how you can choose what you want to be. But what is going on? We need, we really need to find something. We're about to die out. We're bleeding. We're bleeding out here, and I can't find a chest or anything. Oh, geez, this is going to be interesting. Oh, there's a herd of zombies over there. We have no pace. This could end pretty, pretty bad for us right now. Hopefully, they don't spot us. Hopefully, they're just going to let us go. Oh, no, they already spotted us. And I can't do anything about it. This is as fast as I can go. What is that over there? Is that like an ATV? Was that a turret? What is that? What is that over there? Oh, no. It's another Jeep. Okay. Uh, oh, great. We have a zombie or a person from the hanging from the, the light right there. Street lamp. Okay. So, please be something in here. There's nothing. Is someone looted all this out? We are not doing so good here. Wait a minute. There's some loot here. All right. There's some loot here. Oh, please stay there. Yes. Yes. Get attacked by the barbed wire. Keep getting attacked by the barbed wire. Yes. All right. Great. He died over there. Uh, there's nothing here either. What is going on? All the loot is being currently just completely taken and no bottle caps. Okay. No bottle caps. All right. Let's keep looking around. There's got to be some more stuff. Looks like we hit a dead end and that's not really looking too good for us. Is there a way to get around this? Yes, there is. I'm hoping there's something in here. This tank looks like it's been derailed here. So it's definitely a broken tank. There's nothing in here. Everything's empty. No use for us. This is horrible. We might as well just go ahead and just get destroyed by these zombies. Because I think uh, we just started off on the wrong foot here. It's just not looking too good for us. Oh, jeez. There's a lot of zombies here. Okay, let's keep going. I wonder why. Can I? Is there a sound when I hit them? There we go. Okay. We got to get the heck out of here. Oh, wait. Can I climb up this just so I get some safety? 
Oh, there we go. They can't reach me now. But I'm really going to die right now. There's no hope for me. And by the way, if you guys would like me to collab with some other people, please let me know in the comment sections. I already have some people I'm looking to collab with for Decimation. Matrix already has some stuff going on with Decimation. And he's already kind of quite comfortable with the with the mod pack. So I guess he can teach me a few things. Right now, I am still a noob at it. But it looks like I'm just going to take the L on this one, guys. I know we had some great gear, but it's not a big deal. We're just going to spawn randomly. And where the heck are we right now? This looks quite interesting. Alrighty, let's go ahead and loot out some stuff. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And now we get a melee weapon when I need it. Are we infected? What? 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 Okay. Alright. I guess we can't go in here. Oh, that makes sense. There's a lot of radiation in that area. And that's why that sound is over here. Okay. That's good to know. Good thing I'm not going to walk in there anytime soon. Oh, right, great. We got a fanny pack. This is just what I needed right now. We have a small backpack. Um, and I'm not going to go in there because radiation is quite high. Now, I wonder if there's a way to go around this by maybe having a gas mask or some type of armor that you can use so you can walk through there. Because I feel like there could be some great loot in there since you need some decent gear. Oh, a jerry can. We have a shovel too. All right, that's not too bad either. We can take out some walkers that are right over there in front of us. I want to see what's inside this building though, but... Uh, I think with the jerry can, oh, where did you guys come from? With the jerry can, I think we can actually get some vehicles, and wow, you really have to hit them from a distance. All right, let's get the heck out of here. I'm not going to go ahead and waste my time taking out those zombies while we can just go run away from here. Uh, let's keep looking around. There's probably a way to climb up this, maybe. No, there's no way. That's a big tree there. All right, let's see. Is there an exit point from here that we can go through? Perfect. Oh, jeez. Jeez. All right, we're bleeding out again. The story of my life. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, this city definitely looks like there's something inside there. So uh, what city have we entered? Oh, wait. You have entered. Oh, someone else has entered. Oh, this is a radio. Oh, this, look, this is a supply drop. Can we do anything with the radio? Oh, shoot. We just gave our coordinates away. Oh, great. I think if you hold the radio, you can actually give your coordinates away. All right, let's eat up a little bit here. We're kind of low on food. Um, what's, is there anything in this vehicle that I can just snatch up? I don't think there's plenty of chests though on the side. Let's go ahead and keep looking. Looks like the supply crate was already taken. So it, it's been looted out. So someone must be around here maybe. Let's continue eating up, trying to regain ourselves some, some health. All right, there's plenty of zombies on that side. Oh man, it's turning a sunset down. Sundown, not sunset. Or the same thing. All right, looks like we're done bleeding, which is fantastic. All right, let's keep looking around here and see what we can find. Now, this looks like a military or police base. Let's be careful because I don't know what to expect here. It looks quite heavily guarded. Oh, no, this is a bridge. This is a bridge going to another side, and I don't think we need to go there. We're going to continue to look out around here and see if we can find any other supplies and see if we can run into anyone. What is this over here? This looks quite cool, too. This looks like maybe like a post office. I'm not too sure what it really is. It looks like it could be a post office. So there's metal shelf that we can loot some supplies from. So we can get ourselves, what is this, bottle of lemonade. We could really use some lemonade. Oh, there we go. We got ourselves a medical rag. We have energy drink, and we have bottle of iron brew. I have no idea what that is. We'll store it in the backpack. Let's go ahead and drink up a little bit, get our hydrations back up. See, is anyone out there? No, we look pretty safe. All right, not too bad. I kind of like this. You can actually loot things. We have a pick. Used to mine stone helps forge rocks. So we can actually do something with that. We have a barbecue crisps, which sounds fantastic. What is that noise? Okay, I'm just hearing stuff now. There's just a lot of noise coming around here. I really love the the uh, sound effects as well in this mod pack. Can we do anything with the computers? Definitely not. All right, so with the radio, we can check, I guess, our coordinate where we are possibly and we can give like a, a radio out to someone but i'm just curious can i actually like mine with this and do something i don't think so maybe you can actually maybe you can get some stone and maybe you can use stuff with so i'm just curious i'm just trying something here uh so you can't break that block here all right so i'm guessing there's certain areas where you can go ahead and break items but we do have a jerry can and i think my next goal eventually in the next episode will be to find a vehicle that we can go ahead and drive around in that would be kind of cool as well what is this Let's check out what we got here. Another jerry can. We have a cricket bat. I'll take the extra jerry can. That's for sure. Anything in here? No. Well, let's keep looking around. I have not encountered anyone yet, and I'm curious to see how everyone acts around here. If they're quite friendly or if they're very defensive. 
We have an axe. Oh, man, we have a lot of good supplies. I'm going to probably drink up the lemonade or eat something. What's that noise? All right, let's keep looking around, actually. This is a rope. Uh, press sneak to climb rope. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see. Anything else useful? Nachos. We need a we need a bigger backpack. That's what we need right now. We have a hammer. Uh, we'll take probably take. Let's see. What's the shovel like? You can use it for sand and dirt. Um, help forge sand lumps. Oh, okay, you know what? We'll keep that. I want to actually test that out. Uh, we have to use a lock pick. That's actually quite interesting. So you can see there's better supplies in there. Um, and we need a lock pick for this to open up. So I don't have anything that's close to a lock pick. So that's actually quite cool. Let's go ahead and climb this. Oh, that's awesome. You can climb up here. Oh, there's something up there. There's a chest, a military crate chest that we can get from here. Anything in here? Oh, military coat. Okay, that's great. So I guess that's uh, going to help us with some more protection, if anything. And we are currently a hero, as you can see, because we have not killed anyone. We're just going to fight the bad zombies. That's what we're going to do. And are we stuck in here? We have to go down. Is there a way to maybe swing back? Or no, there's no way. Okay, let's drink up some lemonade. All right, and anything left in here that's empty? Okay, there's a chest over here. We have energy drink, and we have bottle of berry, berry aid. We can probably take some of that. Let's keep looking around. Oh, is that a person? No, those are those are dead. Those are zombies. There we go. We're gonna fight this guy off. Get some bottle caps. Oh, snap. That looks awesome when you take out the person. I remember Scotty actually showed me um, when he was working on this. It's really realistic. It looks awesome. That's one thing I really love about it. All right, let's go ahead and take out this guy. Maybe this guy will leave us some supplies. Let's see. Oh, yes, we do have some supplies. Some bottle cap. We got a bottle cap from him. Um, let's see anything. Yeah, they can't really loot him up. I'm not going to use the rag. I almost used it just now like a noob. Uh, let's go ahead and see anything in here. Use some shoes, some black shoes. Look, look at, right now, it looks like we're... Yeah, this is New York City map. This is a New York City map, which is why it kind of looked quite similar. I can see the subway there. All right. Um, we don't really need too much food. I could really go for a big backpack right now. That is something I could definitely use. So let's keep looking around, check out the place. So far, it's quite quiet. I can only spot out... What's this? Emergency syringe. I'll take that over... Let's see. We'll leave the pickaxe over there. I'll keep the emergency syringe. That's something I could probably use um, in the future if we get attacked by a herd of zombies. But I have not spotted anyone yet. And that's something I want to see what happens if I interact with someone. So let's keep looking around and see if we can find any more. I just really want a backpack. That's one thing I want to find. And plus, I, I'm kind of new to this map. I really don't know what to expect. Right now, I'm noticing that near the subway, there's a lot of great loot. So... That's, I guess, a place that maybe might be very popular to go to, so we might run into some people. I would also like to go and find, like, a military base, um, and I still want to learn more about this mod pack. I know that at spawn, which we probably will go to towards the end of this episode, uh, I'm pre pretty sure at spawn you can actually do some trading. So we have three bottle caps, which is really not enough for much, I would assume. Uh, oh, we can actually go inside this building. It's, like, one of the few buildings we can actually go inside. So let's keep looking and see what we can find here. It's quite moody. Let's go ahead and turn up the uh, brightness here. And that doesn't really help much. It looks quite empty. It looks like, like I said, this mod pack is still in alpha. So I'd assume most of the buildings are still being developed. And eventually, they'll probably be open where you can go inside and loot things. So I'm not really seeing anything too special inside there. So let's keep looking around. Do I hear something? No, I don't. Okay. Oh, this building actually looks like it's detailed enough. There we go. All right, so this building has some stuff in here. Probably some secret storage under here. Nope, nothing. Okay. Let's see, there's a kitchen. Don't really see any supplies under here. We definitely have to eat up a bit. Here we go. Oh, there's a zombie. Oh, jeez. Did we get infected? I've been bitten. Oh, jeez. Let's see, empty syringe. Oh, this is bad. I've been infected. Guys, this is bad. Oh, what the heck? How the heck did they spot me? All right, so currently I'm infected. Uh, I got to figure out a way to unsolve this, this issue right now that we're in. We're ki kind of in a jam right now. Uh, so we're going to have to figure out a way to get uninfected. I know you can loot vehicles as well. Uh, we have another fanny that we don't need. Okay, what the heck? Okay, 
Let's let's stay away from that dude. Looks like we're getting close to spawn. This looks like more towards the city. So we're just gonna keep looking around. There probably could be some type of vaccine or something we can find around here, possibly. Uh, but yeah, so far we're getting close to the end of today's episode. So if you guys enjoyed and would like to see more Decimation and probably with some some other YouTubers as well and do some collabs, that's something I'm really looking forward to trying as well. Um, I'd also like to bring some role plays to the channel. That is something I'm highly going to be looking into and I'm going to need some help. If you guys want to be part of like a role play team or uh, want to help me out and set that all up and you guys are good with that, then make sure you go ahead and just email me at my email, which is alexinbusiness at gmail.com. You guys can go ahead and do that, and I will try to get back to you if that is something you're good with, especially with NPCs, maybe setting up quests and such. That would be something I'd be looking to uh, get some help with. But if not, no big deal. I'll definitely start working on it myself and trying to set that up. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do right now, I mean, we're in a great spot to kind of hold off. Oh, we have a weapon now. One of the cool things here is that the weapon, holding the weapons are so realistic, especially reloading. Right now, I don't have any ammo, but uh, maybe we'll be lucky enough to find something in here. Can we not loot? Oh, it's empty. That's one of the things I really, really like about this is the way that the uh, mod pack is designed. You can really have a real realistic look when you're holding the weapon and especially zooming in. So that's something I'm looking forward to testing out when we get some ammo. All right, let's go from the back. Maybe they won't spot us back here. Here we go. Let's go. Let's jump around. Anything in here? Oh. We have ammo. That's just how the perfect way to end off this episode. So this is the reloading, as you can see how awesome that looks. Now we're going to go ahead and try this out ourselves. So we have one headshot already. Look at that. Let's go ahead. Oh, that guy didn't like it. There we go. Headshot after headshot. That's what I'm talking about. Let's collect those bottle caps. Another headshot. I'm really liking this. This is absolutely awesome. Really, really realistic as well with the headshots. But how much ammo do we have? We only have one clip left. We have an extra clip as well. All right, let's go ahead and take these guys out. Head oh, double headshot. Oh, jeez. This is great. Actually, I have no idea how much ammo I had. I thought my XP was ammo, but it's not. Oh, guys, we are on fire. This is absolutely awesome. Man, I wish we found ammo and weapons in the beginning of the video. But, like I said, this is the first ever episode. So, I figured it'd be only best... To go ahead and try and be a survivor and do what a survivor does best and is just trying to oh can we use a rag to heal up uh all right nope that didn't work out let's go ahead and maybe we'll eat up a bit here let's go do that did we just drop my food no we didn't okay let's eat up some crisps here some barbecue crisps but yeah like i said first episode we have to go ahead and just be a survivor and see what happens to us and then next episode it's a whole different story whole different ball game we're going to be going hard we're going to probably go with the crew we're going to just having some awesome time <laughs> oh, look at that that's pretty funny we got ourselves uh kenrick lamar over there all right let's keep looking around see if there's anything um this looks like a really big town i don't know this is like a town hall can we go inside there man i really do love the weapons though we have now, I think, 15 bottle caps, so we might go towards the end of the episode and try out the trading area. Oh, what's this? Oh, we have ourselves a military loot. Anything decent in here? We have some more ammo clips. I could definitely go with a larger backpack because we do have a lot of stuff, as you guys can tell. Uh, let's go ahead and loot out this place, see if there's anything in here. We have another radio, more rags. We'll go ahead and throw out the shovel. I guess there's no need for the shovel. We'll drink up some water, some berry aid. Here we go. Oh, jeez. There's a lot of them over here. Oh, we have to reload. Oh, bad timing. Oh, I love that you can reload and run away. That's actually really cool. Here we go. That was awesome. That's one thing I'm, I'm going to love about Decimation is the accuracy of the shots and the sounds are fantastic. All right, this is going to be a pretty interesting looting session here. Let's go ahead and eat up a bit. We have to be very quiet here. This looks like it's a library. I wouldn't expect any weapons here, but hey, look at that. Another another weapon, actually. This is a Markov, but I don't think we have any ammo for that one. So let's keep looking around and see what we can find. We definitely have to be quiet. It'd be really fantastic to find ourselves. Oh, what the heck happened here? Jeez, that's a big, big... Uh... Oh, wait, this keeps going down? What is that? It looks like there's a room down there. Let's go ahead and check that out. We can use the ropes to get down. This is actually quite interesting. There's a medical crate here. Some extra rags. I don't think I need those right now. 
Um, some canned food. No, we're going to leave that for now. I need a large backpack. That's what I need. You know what? Let's go ahead and check out this place down here. This looks quite interesting. We have to hold shift to go... Or oh, shift to climb. Whoa. This is quite interesting here. See if anyone's down here. How do we get back up? Is there a way back up? Yeah, we can use the ropes. All right, let's keep going down here. All right. Did I break my legs? I broke my legs as well. Even better. Just, oh. What is this? There's people over here. What is going on? What? Reload, reload! What is this? No! I'm so confused. That was, uh... Alright, there's a safe zone. Whoa! Okay, we're learning new things. There's a safe zone. There were people looting stuff. That was actually quite cool. I'm actually quite impressed so far. There's gonna be a lot of cool things coming out next episode. We're gonna go ahead and do some more interesting events like that one. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys want to see more, let me know down below in the comment sections. And hold on, there's a supply crate right behind us. And if those zombies don't see us, we can probably go ahead and, and see if there's anything in the supply crate here. Anything in here? Oh. It's actually quite good. That's actually quite good. All right. We have a green rig, which is actually quite expensive. We can actually sell this. It's like a backpack. So uh, we could probably sell that probably for a few a few bottle caps. Um, and we have an axe. Let's go ahead and axe this guy to the face. Ask, ask him a question. Oh, jeez. Am I affected again? How? How did I get affected? How the heck? I guess this axe is just not a good melee. Yeah, you better walk away. That's what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, guys. So thanks again for watching today's episode. If you guys would like to see more, definitely let me know down below in the comment sections. I'll catch you guys next time with another episode of Decimations and other survival let's plays and role plays in the near future. Peace out and stay foxy.